Hi guys, how are you doing? So I'm going to show you today how to use WinDBG, which is a memory debugging program for Windows. This is a reason reason why I'm making it because I'm actually every time I do it, I, I I completely forget. So I'm doing this for myself as well as for you guys if you want, if you want to learn. It. So let's just go ahead and learn how to do it. So first of all, uh, WinDBG, what is it? Uh, when Windows goes into blue screen mode, you go crazy. Ah! why is it go to blue screen mode so you're gonna go and to try to fix it when you try to go to fix it well what windows gives you is like this uh let's see yeah this is it like this is like a, a small memory dump file here this one here this is a small one that i created myself actually uh i didn't ha I, I had i had a memory dump file but i deleted it so i had to go and generate this in order to generate this, I basically use the no fault of mine uh, process, which Microsoft have given me. Uh, here it is, is this file here. Let's put it here. Yeah, here it is, and I just basically go in here and run this program. Right, so that's the not my fault, not my fault. So I know exactly what is the problem, but usually I don't know what the problem is. I mean, this particular program when I create when I run it. I told it exactly what it should say, and it ran it, and it blue screened on me. Now, how do you diagnose this one to tell me that that's the fault, or what is the fault that of the system that caused the problem? So, memory dump is easy to generate, not easy to read. Let's move this here. Now, the program that I'm going to be using is, like I said, WinDBG. Okay, so this is one DBG. Now, let's just move it to this side here. And in the meantime, I'm going to open up this over here so you guys can see. There you go. This is one DBG. This is the folder of the memory file. And this is the Microsoft guide to downloading the memory development the toolkit. Let me just go back actually because there it is. This is a debugging tool for Windows WinDBG. Now that is a, according to Microsoft, there is let's just zoom in here. Let's put this away. How do you put this away? Ah, there we go. According to Microsoft, there is three ways to debugging uh debugging tool. Uh so as part of the WDK, as part of Win SDK, a standalone set. Now I'm gonna show you here how to do a standalone. And a standalone is very simple. If you want to download the any debugging tool for Windows, install the Windows SDK, and during the installation, uh, you go select the debugging tool uh, for Windows and clear all other boxes. To be honest, when I install this, I uh, tend to like install install everything. It's easier because just in case I need something else from this. So you just click install, then you click install and download. This is a 974 kilobytes. Keep, you click on it here. All right, so this feature installed installed in this computer are up to date to download this Windows software as well you can, you can click continue so you continue I mean it's it basically it's recognized that I've already got it installed uh, and it's now asking me to want me to download it so this is the options that it comes up with so this is what we know we don't want the you don't want this you don't want this you want the debugger too that's that's the reason why you want you can you can, you can remove the other things but like I said you can actually also add them in now you can actually click download or you can click install um, because I'm not getting the install option because I already got it installed so I click on download and I will have it downloaded as a manual download so you can transfer it to another system as well so I can use this system download it move it to another laptop that I can't actually connect to the internet and have it run from there cancel this okay so I've already got it the Windows debugging tool has already been installed because there it is, it is here. It is great, fantastic. Okay, now once you have got WinDBG64, uh, it's 
uh, it becomes a little bit difficult, but a little bit hazy for you guys how to use it because it becomes very annoying. The annoying part is it's not to open up the crash dump because like open crash dump. The crash dump is usually located, I mean, C Windows mini dump or if it's a mini dump or if it's not then it's in the C windows and just look for the .dmp file so I'm going to open this one okay so it's basically saying that I don't have permission so what I'm going to have to do is windbg again right click on it and run as administrator there you go open file open crash dump and open it up again here it is it's a bit, bit small writing but uh, see if we can increase it no mm, font okay oh sorry okay okay weird this program this program is probably one of the oldest program in the history of mankind <laughs> Okay, if it's okay. There you go. So let's go back from the beginning. It's already says that uh, you you're loading this file, uh, mini kernel as a mini kernel on register and stack. So I only done a mini mini version. Uh, like I said, I generated this one, so I know exactly what is wrong. And it's it's very simple. The first thing you need to worry about is like immediately it says loading user simple file, simple symbols file. And load, loading unlo uh, loading unloaded model list as well. Now, how do you load the memory symbol file? I mean, that is the most crit critical point here at this point. You can see here that I'm, I'm using the symbol file server. This is this is this, and there we go. This is it. There this is. Now, how 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 did I set it up? I click on file, symbol, symbol file path. All right, let me just. First of all, I'll close that. Now, let me just open up again, so you guys can. I want to. I want to show you this. This is where it becomes very difficult. This is the reason why I'm doing this uh, video. File, simple, sim simple file path. When you do this, you save this. So this is like now going into SRV. Basically, you're telling it's server star. C colon temp file. This is actually you don't. You don't have to add. C colon temp file, but I add it so that way it will download whatever's next, which is star HTTP colon two four slashes msdl l twice uh, sorry msdl dot microsoft dot com forward slash download forward slash symbol. That's it. I'll, I'll put that in the in the video description as well. Once you've added that, you press OK. Now it still hasn't saved it. Okay, what you need to do is you before you open up a crash dump file, you click on file, save workspace. You click on save workspace, then you can close it. Then you open up WinDBG again, and then it would have saved the symbol file. So let me just show you an example. Like I said here, I'm gonna put in uh c temp x and press ok now if i type a file simple file just uh, still got it but if i close this and open up one dbg again file simple file temp x, temp x has gone so you want to save the simple file search unless you click on file save workspace once you've done that, you can click on File, Open the Crash Dump File, and of course you locate it and you find, you open it up. Oh, run again. It says permission. I'm gonna have to open up an administrator. I'm not sure why it's asking me to run as administrator, but there you go. It's like a thing I am an administrator. Okay, there you go. Right, there we go. Okay, so click on view, let's change the font, so we can make it a little bit bigger. Let's not make it, uh, yeah, let's just do this and let's do it uh, 12. All right, so you can see it now. Now, 
here it is it's actually say it's loaded up the uh, loaded it up it's loaded up the symbol files and it's reached a point where it says use analyze but before you click on use analyze because that's where you need to click on to try to analyze the memory dump file it says already like here warning unable to verify timestamp for my fault that says remember i already told you that i created it as my fault so i do know that it's, it is my fault <laughs> so it's already generated something called my fault that says the reason is why i'm saying read this first because if you do have this warning here that means that this is most likely to be the issue it's like here error module loaded complete but symbol could not be loaded for my my symbols that says Probable probable caused by my fault does this. There you go. So it's done. It's fixed it. It told me exactly what the problem is. All I have to do is get rid of this my fault does this, which in this case is is a dummy dump file that I created myself. Now, if you want to analyze it further, you click on analyze. And what it's going to do is going to run run, run and analyze. To basically, you know, it gets let's go from the beginning. So after i press the analyze which is here it's gone driver is this this is the debugging tool this is the normal oh there you go process name is not my fault the exe is detected that's the one that's the one i just mentioned just a minute ago and there it is model name is my fault that's the one that's caused the problem of course i'm running a test thing so I'm, you guys are thinking oh because he's running his himself he would know exactly what it is um well yes it's true but this is exactly how i found, figured out how to fix windows 10 when i upgraded from windows 7 it was always blue screening so i had to use this to fix it and most of the time this is how you fix issues as well especially for blue screens so i'm going to do my fault here again to even drill more and to try and figure out what the problem is that's pretty much it and you know this should give you like an indication of how to use the memory dump, dump file uh, to be read by using WinDBG64 or 32 I hope this is this was helpful this is like a very quick uh, let's say a dummy guide <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that a dummy guide because I actually forget all the time how to do it, so I have to go read my notes. So I'm gonna create I created this video just to help you guys as well. Help me as well when I want to read it. Uh, please share, comment, and subscribe, and check out my other video guides. Bye.